In today's video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about type inference in TypeScript. So type inference is exactly what it sounds like. TypeScript will infer the type of some value and it will enforce that type without you needing to explicitly give that value a type annotation. So you don't need to say that this value is going to be of type number or of type string. TypeScript will already infer that some value has some type and it will enforce that type. So what does this actually look like? Well, here on line 18, I define a let variable called sumVar and I assign it to the value of 12. And then on line 19, I have sumVar and I try to reassign it to a string of hey. And TypeScript is not okay with this. TypeScript is telling me that, hey, type string is not assignable to type number. Well, what's going on here? Well, this is where type inference comes in. TypeScript is inferring that whatever value that is contained within some var here, it is of type number. Even though I don't explicitly give this a type annotation here of number, TypeScript is already going to infer, since I am initializing this variable with a number, that some var here, this is going to hold a value that is of type number. And it's not going to let me reassign this to a string because it is going to enforce that this is a number here. Now, if I switch this to a string here, then it's going to be totally cool. It's going to say, okay, well, since I'm initializing with this a string, then some var should hold a value that is of type string. And if I reassign it to a string, that is totally fine because some var here, as you can see in my code editor, it is annotated with a string even if I don't explicitly give it the string annotation. TypeScript will just infer that this is a string and it will enforce that type to this variable here. Now, where does TypeScript use this type inference? Well, like I just showed you, when you initialize a variable, it will use type inference to say that, okay, if I'm initializing this variable with a number, then that variable must be of type number or that value is of type number or if it's of type string or whatever it might be. However, if I don't initialize a variable with any value, then TypeScript doesn't have any information to give this a type. And it's actually just gonna give it a type of any. So as you can see here, it's giving it the annotation of any. And generally, I would avoid any's as much as possible because that's just like running JavaScript in your program, man removes the benefit of using TypeScript and that those type safe features that you get with TypeScript. All right, so if I just initialize a variable without a value, TypeScript can't do its type inference. But as soon as I give this a value here, TypeScript will infer that this value is the type of the value that I assign it to when I first initialized it. And since JavaScript has an underlying type system, Although it's dynamic, it's not static like TypeScript, TypeScript can still leverage that system and say that, okay, well, this is going to be a number. So we are just going to infer that whatever value is contained within some var, that should be a number as well. Now it also uses type inference when you set default parameters for numbers. So here on line 26 here, I have a function called add. And in my parameters here, I have a parameter of num and a parameter of num2. And I give those a default value of one and a default value of two. And if I hover over num here, you can see TypeScript gives it an annotation of number. Because since I initialized this parameter with a default value, TypeScript knows, or TypeScript is going to infer that this parameter should be of type number. And it does the same thing for my second parameter here. So if I try to call my add function with a string here, you're going to see that I get an error. I cannot assign type string to a parameter of type number here, because even though I don't explicitly give this an annotation of type number, which I can still do this, but even if I don't, and I give it a default value here, TypeScript is going to infer that this should be a number and it is going to enforce it by giving me an error. If I try to pass an argument, that is, is anything apart from type number. So it will infer the parameters here when you give them a default value. Now it will also infer the return type of a function. So to, the way that you give a type annotation for the return type of a function is right after your opening and closing parentheses, you can use the 
annotation symbol here, the colon, and then I could say that this function here is going to return a number. However, TypeScript will already make this inference in which when I call this function, it's gonna say, okay, this return value here is gonna be inferred to be of type number, as you can see here. Because TypeScript's gonna be like, all right, well, this parameter is a number, this parameter is a number. So if I return this parameter plus this parameter, well, that's gonna just give me a number. So it's gonna infer the return type of this function to be of type number. And the same would be true if my parameters were strings and I returned a string. And in my return value here, if I tried to give this a type annotation of type string, you're gonna see that I get an error here. It's gonna say type number is not assignable to type string because it's inferring that the return value of this function is going to be of type number. And it's gonna say that I can't assign that to a type string because this return value here is inferred. But if I switch this to a number here, everything's gonna be just fine. All right, so three of the most common places you're gonna see type inference occur is when you initialize a variable with some value, that initialized variable is going to be inferred to have the data type of whatever value you are assigning to that variable. Also with default parameters, you're gonna see it in which whatever data type you give as a default value, that's gonna be inferred to be the type of that parameter. And then also the return value of a function is going to be inferred with whatever data type that you return here, all right? And overall, I would use type inference pretty much wherever you can. There are some situations in which I think it might be explicitly better to state what a data type is going to be. Like sometimes for a return value of a function, I think that it would make sense to explicitly say that, hey, this is supposed to be of type number. And one of the reasons that I like doing that sometimes is that it gives you kind of the error here when you're defining your function. Like if you're expecting it to return a number and you just try to return a string here, well, in the return statement, it's gonna say, okay, you're, you're doing something wrong here. Not all possible data types here of your return value are of type and number. So it can kind of catch those errors as I'm writing my functions because if I remove this, I'm not gonna get an error here. It's just gonna say, okay, well, I'm gonna return a string because I'm guessing that's what you wanna return. But you know, in an add function, that might not be the case. And then this gets inferred to be a string. And then like, here you see, I don't really get any errors here, even though I'm returning a string and that's probably not what I wanna do, all right? So for the return values of functions, I do kind of like to explicitly give a type annotation but everywhere else, I like to use TypeScript's inference system because I think it just leads to a little bit easier to read code, a little bit less messy code, and is pretty straightforward to understand as well. So hopefully this gives you a good understanding of how type inference works, where it's used in TypeScript, and maybe some situations in which I would and wouldn't use it. So thanks for tuning into this, and I'll see you in that next one.